What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Nitty back in the building. Right now, I'm in Gainesville, man. I'm heading to the Oaks Mall. And uh, before I pull up to the Oaks Mall, I got a call, right? All of a sudden, I'm hearing the person. They're barely hearing me. I can hear them. Then the call drop. And it says, shoe pallet. I was like, all right, I'm gonna call him back. I call him back. Yo, busy. Not, not, the, not the store. My phone. My phone won't even let me call out. It would not. So I'm like, yo, of course this would happen to me. Just so random, man. It's <laughs> so random. But eventually I did reach out to uh, the person who called that did pick up that told me I won a pair of shoes that I felt a raffle for two weeks ago. Yo, I'll take a delayed W, yo. <laughs> but anyways, man, I'm going to see you at the mall. Peace. Finally, Nitty has come back to the Oaks Mall. <laughs> Got not miss you much. Um, when I live in Ocala, this is one of the malls that's to pick up my shoes. I remember getting like the rookie of the years. A lot of doubles I cop here, man. So, can't hate on the mall, but it's not the most luxurious mall. You know what I mean? It's not like the biggest sneaker mall. But anyways, man, let's make it. Let's go inside, see what's popping. First sneaker store up is going to be Champs. I know this because I was parked at the same spot. So I have this little routine of how I go about which stores I'm gonna go to first, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, let's see what's popping. Okay, we got these mellow balls. I heard people talking good. Good things about these, man. They're kind of heavy, though. They're going for 120. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like the colorway. Oh, they got them all white as well. 120s as well. What else? Let's keep it moving. MNDs, Lugs, Champion. We passing, though. Let's be in the corner. I think they got um, Jays on this side. Nope, uh, they don't got them. Champions on this side as well. They do got the Reeboks, though. I think these are the anniversary Reeboks. Yeah, for 100 beans. Here up Tempos, Prestos. Air Maxes, and that's it. Well, 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 look what we got here. Chinatown Market slides back in the building. Now the new name is China Mark. Back then when I was copping these for this price, for adult pairs, it was called Chinatown. And they got a few of them in the building, $19. See the price, see the original price? Should be 50, kind of cheap. Now these are kids though. I don't know if they got the adult pairs for the same price. So they got a few J's in the building. They do got these red Oreos. I actually like these, man. They're going for 150, but I politely pass on the adult pairs. And they got the playoff joints as well, which I do like, which I dig. Grab a pair of, I should double, should have double fire. And they also got the green beans, which you know, no one is feeling these joints right here with the three of them. A lot of people are not feeling these. And I did grab these midnight navy joints. So two out of four I grabbed, not bad. But I am feeling those though. I do like those. So there's still a finish line left, y'all. It's probably one of the only few finish line in America. Anyways, let's walk in and see what's popping. All right, so finish line and JD Sports are similar, but one's called JD Sports, the other one's called finish line. And off rip they got the 270s in the building they still got these joints well i'm sorry this this is a new version new colorway it's supposed to be the adidas section right here hirachi's on top puma section in the middle more comfort shoes top tens i like this colorway not mad at 60 beans from 100 that's not bad it's supposed to be the basketball section here no j's pg sixes i believe yes in the bright colorway 110 beans not mad at it like this color don't like those six rings do got a retro a retro cider, which is the Midnight Navy 6, which I do own a pair. And they're going for 200 beans, the new price of Jordans. What else? They got the D Brown Reeboks right here. They're going for 160. Oh, what else? Up Temple, so you got the Felas. I think there's no Mash Burns, right? Jamal Mash Burns. 60 beans from 100. Flights. Kyrie's. I think they're Kyrie's Fair Fire. Yeah, Kyrie Low Fives. I think that's it, yeah. Uh, what are these? Giannis Immortalities? Yep, Immortalities. The Giannis joints. My homeboy actually played ball in these the other day. <laughs> Crazy. But that's it, y'all. We're gonna flex out of here. Nothing more to see in here. Wow, this is my first sighting of these, especially in the store. But overall, I have never seen these shoes ever. They're threes. I forgot what they actually call. They're different though. Color blocking is not that bad. Material's not that bad. I like to see it in adult sizes though. It's cool. I'm not mad at it. It's going for 154 youth. And they got a whole stack of them. Air Force One mids. All white joints in the building, 100 beans. We already know the price went up on those two. It used to be 90, and I think that's it. Nah, I'm for real. That is it. <laughs> Let's fix out of here. And it's a wrap, y'all. Just left finish line. Now we'll walk over to uh, Foot Locker, see what's popping over there. So right now, we just walked in the house of hoops. Okay, what they got in the building? I kind of twinder, y'all. I like a walk around a whole bunch of people. But anyways, man, LeBron's is the only thing I noticed, and they're on sale already, yo. And these colorways just came out, like this one for 130. 
this one for 150 this one for 140 and they're all different prices but they just literally came out man i, I would give this shoe maybe a month month and a half on shelf and they're already dropping price i know nike know that it's not moving like how they thought it would this lebron remind me of the lebron 13s but it did like little freaking what do you call it like uh i don't know i'll just throw a picture up because i can't think of anything to say about it that's what that remind me of remind me like a four leaf clover or a three leaf clover it did some kind of design i saw these in the olive a little bit cheaper though lebron 19s they got the Kyrie joints in here 110 this is hot you can tell this got no play man it sit on the light all day got a little temperature too man it's hot no one's touching these shoes bro nike basketball is falling off more Kyrie's. i like this colorway because it got that unc blue does this remind me of the same thing uh 80 beans it's not bad it's not bad 80 beans i'm not mad at it man look at the jays uh we got the tie-dye heel joints piece of the mids i got nothing good to say about them hard pass i don't see all the retros in here westbrook's why not it's nothing popping off all right so we got some nike shoes this fall on the category is basketball and non-basketball these flights air up temples on the bottom olive green and black i like the black and red joint this doesn't look bad to me i'm not a fan of them but this this is okay that's okay this not so much this crimson color i'm not even sure if you guys are seeing that in black hard pass i guess they mass produce these now because i've seen these everywhere there was like a shortage of those at one point in time and the low flights for 100 i like these reggie millers i like them in the green and white colorway which i didn't see too much of them but um i did see them at a outlet they were discounted but they were not in my size and they got the blazers on top and they got the how you knock off your own shoe nike bro i get it off white is the theme that's why everybody wants, but you can't cannibalize the off-white by making a knockoff off-white in house. That's not how it works. That shoe prestige. Keep that shoe going. Keep that aesthetic going. Don't make a similar rip-off version of it. These are 100. All right, man. We got a lot of stuff in here on sale, too, like the basketball shorts, T-shirts, etc. for 19 beans. Let's go in a different section. Let's go in another section see what's popping off over there. Okay. All yellow M&Ds, the big bird joints. No prime net, though. Imagine I had Prime Knit. <laughs> Asics. Asics need another collab. That's not Kip. They need to get on the map, yo. I actually like some of the shoes. Material's pretty good. I like that color. <laughs> I like that colorway. Solid white, not bad. Solid black. I'm a fan of black shoes, but I'd probably take the white one over the black one. Aesthetically, more peas in with the white in that model. Are you guys caring about it, man? 80 beans for these North Face. Who's doing this? I haven't seen any sneaker head in the, in the YouTube genre or sneaker YouTube genre review pair of north face boots if you have the link in the comments man i want to see who's reviewing north face not the clothing the shoes those are uggs yeah who's reviewing uggs too yeah let me know let me wow north face for 10 beans are these house slippers bro these look like they'll be comfy for 10 beans yo i think i'm gonna pick them up i just talk <laughs> a whole bunch of crap about it i'm gonna be the first one to review north face apparel not apparel uh shoes on the channel look what puma's doing too yo puma puma's like yo i got you what about what about me ten dollars they got them in that colorway and they got them in this colorway too as well they got that army fatigue style look doubt they have this in my size so let's slide over to the slides man Look at this Chinatown market. 40 beans. That's why I bought one that was low, y'all. Now it's back up to 40. You can't get that shoe again. Well, you theoretically can. It won't be called Chinatown like this pair is called. It'd be called the market. That's different. Oh, slide into comfort. Is this what Yeezy been complaining about? Where they ripped off the Yeezy shoes or slides? This pattern got me a little dazed, man. It's different. It's different. It looks, it don't look that bad. 55 beans. Put a little boost in it. You winning. And speaking of boost, bro, I got these in blue. And I think I paid the same price. I got my dollar. Look at that. Retail 60. They're going for 20. And you know why. We are in Florida, man. So you can find more slides here than you would in any other store, like in Georgia or even New York, man. We got a crazy amount of slides in the building, all different brands, even the cross color joints for 30 beans. You still looking at the last size? Uh, now I remember, last time I was here, these shorts was here. And I politely passed because I didn't like the quality. But apparently, though, the person who designed these shorts is from Florida. Down south, I believe. So I like the design of them, not the material. And you already know I'm a stickler. Good material, man. I don't know what they're going for. So 85 with 50 off. Still not. Still won't pull the trigger. You see, I ain't been here in a good while. And there's still a whole bunch of them left, yo. That says a lot. I like this champion shirt. Small. Cool. What is that? Terrain Park. 30 beans is a champion tee. Is a champion tee size large. I'm not mad at it either. Uh, it's 50% off of 30, so it's $15. So we in youth, and they do got the pennies in the building. And I did politely pass on sneakers. I saw like some other colorway that dropped like two months ago in shoe palace, and I politely passed on them. I had first dibs on those, um, but everybody was going after the original colorway. Uh, not me passing. Oh, okay. 
They got a whole bunch of J's. They got the mid and purples. They got the denim six as well. Yeah. Green beans, midnight, and these threes again. These threes again. Did these sell out? I didn't go after them. Y'all let me know, man. Did anyone copy these joints? These threes and what are they called? Again, I'm not mad at the concept of it. I think it's dope. God, give me a little vibes of the Men in the Woods threes, the ones I always be rocking, the Justin Timberlake versions. But I'm not mad at them. They're cool. I just won't rock them. And over here, we got the M&Ds. You already know the Big Birds joints I, I like. This is cool, too. I like these loud colors, man, for these uh, Ultra Boosts. I mean, that's some way to get going to people's attention again. You know what I'm saying? With some loud shoes, this is the Puma joints. You got the Mellow joints again. A lot of people are saying these are good balling shoes. Trust, but verify. But I'm going to take y'all word for it. I'm not going to verify it. These are cool. 80 beans for those. Puma's making a comeback, man. I like to see all these brands competing, man. Because then they're going to try to win you over with comfort, style, collabs, and even price, man. That's what it's going to boil down to. To get the most out of the shoe for the money, man. So whoever solved that problem, that's who's going to win in the long run. I know Nike got the momentum. They got the inertia, man, but it just takes one company to kind of like sacrifice everything, cut the price, get a good collab, sign an athlete, like how Nike signed Jordan, take something like that. I'm just panning up and down through these air matches, these air matches, these Air Max, these Hirachi joints, just to see if there's anything out here that sticks out. Again, I do like these bowls, man. I need to see them in more colorways, but I like this colorway too as well. This one's 130. Griffey's I'm not a fan of. Not the player. He's one of my favorite baseball players of all time. Frank Thomas being the first, ironically, named Frank. But uh, Griffey was one of them. Damn. Oh, boy, man. Damn. Oh, boy, man, what are you mad about? I just caught that on the, on the slide, bro. I just caught that on the slide. Guys, I did not mean to catch that on camera, man. I was just vlogging and I turned at the right time or in this case, unfortunately turned at the wrong time. And homie was, homeboy was spazzing out, bro. For whatever reason, he's walking behind a girl. He's tight. He had it up to here, bro. Yo, that's crazy, man. But anyways, we got one store to go into, which is Jimmy Jacks, which is the last store. So let's go in this, it was popping. The last time I went there, I got a dope pack. I got a few Nike snapbacks for a great, great, great price, man. So let's fall through Jimmy Jazz. There's a Liz right here around the corner. We'll see if we walk into it. Maybe that'd be like a consolation. Depends on what Jimmy Jazz had. And I'll end the vlog there and take it back to the crib, man. So I'll see y'all in the building. Jimmy Jazz. Hope don't got the music blurring in here, man. And I can right hear from the outside, man. So you already know they got the music on crunk. Um, let's see. I thought JD Sports don't want to carry these. Look like Jimmy Jazz do have them as well. Uh, 270s, up tempos, Air Max. I actually like this colorway because you know that UNC blue. I love that blue, man. I'm continuously talking because I don't want to get this music in the vlog. So um, I do like these Nike Air Hirachis. The color pattern is crazy on these, bro. I love Hirachis. I don't like that so much, but I love that. These 97s is cool as well. Damn, they still got these Barclays in here. Barclays are still in the building. Those are the easy slides that I want. Nah, I'm just kidding. Close to the Jordan. Okay. The Brotherhood joints. How many of you guys caught more than one pair of these, man? They're hitting the outlets, but they're not on sale, though, man. They're still going for retail, but we need to see them all on sale. Make it worthwhile. Three one twos in that gray colorway. I call that the Chicago versions. Not really, because the Chicago ones I have don't have this pattern. And that's it for the, for the Jordans. You got the Adidas on the other side. The top tens. We got the pumps, the D Browns, hypnosis or Shaq Gnosis for 50 beans at the bottom. My bad. It's crazy loud in here, y'all. But anyways, man, they got a lot of heat. Anyways, we got BS in there. Let me walk over there. Man, what are these? These are Pumas, kind of heavy. 40 beans. Price is attractive. The shoe's not. Some of the colorways are legit. They do got these old school feel eyes though, man. I'm about to say, I remember them in the in the highs. Oh, here they go. 30 beans with your house, house way. How's this going for? $30 and 50% off. Yo, feel I just giving this shoe away. And y'all being so disrespectful, y'all not picking it up. This is definitely a 90 shoe. They got 95s all over it, man. And it's not heavy too. This is not that bad. So the black one, that was the only one, but they got a plethora of the white ones and the same thing, 29 with 50% off. See, $29 with 50% off. I'm not sure if that's the last size in that as well. I asked, oh shit, they got the blue ones as well. God damn. How's the lows more expensive than the highs? The lows is 40, and these are 30. So they don't have my size. The biggest size they have in this is a 10, and the biggest size they have in the white is 11, but it's still 30 with 50 off, so it's a $15 shoe plus tax. Not bad. And they do have the low for the same price though. Just not the white one. The white one is 40. Anyways, let's walk over to the J's real quick. 
She was popping over for the Jays. So these are kids, man. I stand corrected. I thought these were adults. So I guess we saw all the adult Jays. I do remember these. 312s, the Navy. They even got these 12s. Yo, I'm dropping bags now, y'all. Y'all see that? <laughs> Did not mean for that to happen. Love the colorway on this. We got the green beans. You got the purple mids. We got the brotherhoods and some other joints. So I'm in the clothing section and I ran into the Billionaire's Boys Club. I watched my previous vlog when I was in New York. I went to the Billionaire's Boys Club and I was like, yo, the tea's a little bit more expensive. Guys, this tea is 50 beans. The teas in New York were $75. However, man, I don't want y'all to get confused. The quality on this is not equivalent to the $75 tea. And I'm a stickler for quality, man. I'm not saying don't buy it. But I'm letting you know there's a big difference. So I have to respect why they charge $75. Not only is it a good brand, but they do put the material behind their branding. So I'm not, I'm not upset at all. This is 50 beans as well. And I do have this tea. This is in a different, it's black, but different design. Actually, it's like the inverse of this right here. But anyways, just want to clarify that, man. Cause you'd be like, oh, Frank, they're $50 here. Yeah, material's different. Guys, it's a wrap. I'm not leaving the Oaks Mall. I'm gonna see y'all back at the crib, give you guys a recap. But I almost bought what I could have bought. Some of the prices, stuff that I like, stuff that I did. Anyways, man, I'll see y'all back in Orlando. Peace. And we're back in the shoe you guys thank you for watching all the way through if you made this far salute to you and i know it was pretty 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 long this vlog that is but nevertheless i went to multiple different stores man first of all we hit up champs when the building and see what's popping in there really wasn't much then i took my talents over to foot locker and house of hoops they had a little bit more items but nothing i really care for i did try to get those north face slides or those those cozy boys whatever Whatever genre of slides those are, I would try and get it. It was $9.99, bro. It was so cheap. I had a, I, I attempted a cop to no avail, man. And then Pumas had those camouflage joints as well, man. Roughly the same price, $9.99. Yo, why not? Why not? $9.99, bro? That was an easy cop. But they didn't have my slides. And then some random thing happened in the mall where this guy threw a pair of shoes across the food court, bro. Apparently him and some lovely young lady was having a scuffle. I'm assuming she's lovely and, and young. But it's ridiculous, man. Why would you do that in public? I digress. Moving along, went to Jimmy Jazz to see what's popping in there. They had a slew of retros, but that was for kids. They did have those felines, though, man. For $29.99 with 50% off. That's a $15 shoe. That was a no-brainer. Of course I wanted a pair, man. That shoe do bring back nostalgia, man, because a lot of people back in the days, back in the 90s, when I grew up, the era I grew up in, those were the joints, man. For the Grant Hills, those were the move. A lot of people had those shoes. And for $29.99, I would have copped a pair. Just off of nostalgia alone, I would have copped a pair. Fast forward to 2022, I got something that I normally would have purchased, but I won. Remember, beginning of the vlog, where I got a phone call and said I won something? Blah, out. This is what I want. Dead giveaway. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And it's obvious. Blot out is the Yeezy Slide in Onyx. I believe that's the color. Onyx. I think I got the khakis prior. Got mine from Champ. But this pair I got from Shoe Palace, man. They literally called me two weeks after the shoe release. Apparently they got stocks later. So that's the reason for the late call. But I'm happy I'm winning. And I won two other pairs of shoes, but you'll know here shortly because I won them some, somewhere else. But anyways, man, Onyx slide, size 12. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to show you guys Gainesville. I haven't been there in a long, long, long time. I believe I have done a Gainesville vlog recent. Well, I mean recent within the last six months. Can't remember. I believe it was this year. But um, we're not done with Gainesville, man. Watch the next vlog. It will be the outlet, which I know I haven't visited since 2021. So stay tuned to that. And I did pick up some items from that spot as well. But anyways, that's it. You have come to the end of the road, the end of the vlogs where I say my goodbyes. And I hope you guys come back. If you haven't subscribed already, do it now. Don't miss out on my vlogs, man. Don't be searching YouTube for Nike Outlet and then my name pop up. Just click the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notifications when I drop videos like this. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.